morning, Bill. Good morning. Um, Sorry. It's all right. Bridge? <laughs> uh, no, getting out of the driveway. Oh! <laughs> They're taking down a 100-foot tree. Oh. Very dead, very branchy, yeah. sitting on top of a 10-foot bank. We have a 75-foot bucket, which obviously <laughs> won't reach all the way, so they're being very careful. And I couldn't, you know, they, they made me wait while they cut some stuff. If you're comfortable without your mask, I'm okay with that. Without my mask. I'm, oh, oh, the mask, mask. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've arrived at a point where I'm... Okay. Good morning. I'm going to go, go without a mask also, okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> well, the only place I ever still really wear one is when I go to the gym, only because that's such a high, concentrated place of people breathing hard and sweating and just, you know, yeah. that, that's one place that I really... That and like if I'm at Disney and I go inside to um, one of the attractions and there's just a ton of people in a close spot, then I'll usually wear one there also. But yeah, other than that, you know, that's I, I think we're we're pretty safe at this point. Well, I've had so many boosters. I <laughs> yeah, be all right. I haven't had one for like a year and a half, so you know. Well, we but just I, had the newest one. Uh, oh yeah. How recently, how recently, David? What? How recently did you have a booster? About a month ago. Really? I, I, the news. I, I, I'm thinking I should probably do that, too, just to play it safe. Well, I felt that was, we felt that was the safest thing to do. Yeah. It was, it's been about a year and a half. Before we moved. went to uh, California. Oh, California, yeah. Especially being on airplanes and everything, that was probably a smart thing to do. Uh, airplane is another place I wear a mask too. Yeah, that that for sure I would too. Yeah, that that's that's even more more high high risk than a gym would be. And and, and almost nobody's wearing a mask. I know. Uh, even on a plane. Oh uh, yeah. Yep. Which... <laughs> yep. I'm continuing in stores and stuff, any closed space with a bunch of people that I'm not familiar with, I took a yeah. so. I, I do too, I, um, but, um, this will be my last in-person thing for, till October. What? The bridge. Is being permanently closed Sunday night through Wednesday morning. Now until October. Huh. I didn't know that. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> and it's uh, that's probably between a 45 minute and an hour drive for me. Oh yeah. Around. Yeah. Yeah, it's that's about right. I mean, we had to do it on two or three occasions. So, <laughs> well, I. So, um, although, well, so um, maybe we can work out having you, if you want to, at some point, you know, come over and okay, just okay on the day that well, you. I mean, I'm I'm not. Terribly worried about it, but yeah, yeah. Um, my wife saw it in the newspaper, and then I looked it up, and indeed, you know. Uh, wow. So, Sunday th to with Sunday 8 p.m. to Wednesday 11 a.m. Mm. Um, just the whole bunch of them, except for the week of the Fourth of July, which falls on a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. Ah, uh, well, okay. Well, uh, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> yeah, so but fun. I can see you Wednesday morning. <laughs> Actually, <clears throat> you know what we might 
do, excuse me, Jeff, just sure. um, on some Wednesday mornings, I could take a little bit longer after class and run through this with you and okay. um, okay. you know, give you a, you know, you know I, I'd be perfectly willing to do that. Okay. That's not a big deal on, on Wednesday. Jane can wait for lunch a little. <laughs> <laughs> Is okay. Bill switching to remote? Is that what you, you guys were saying? I'm sorry? Is Bill switching to Zoom after this? Is that what you guys uh, were saying? The, the bridge, uh, the East Haddam Bridge is going to be uh, completely closed Sunday nights through Wednesday mornings until October. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, yeah, he'll be on Zoom. Okay. Bill also does a Wednesday morning class, and so I was just saying I could, okay. could do a little bit. He and I could do a little bit. Got uh, it. Got it. Okay. To give him some in-person time. Yeah. Wow. Darn the bridge. <laughs> well, it's better than the bridge falling apart. Well, yes. <laughs> that is true. We need to fix the bridge. That's <laughs> definitely true. Just for you guys. Yeah. Questions? No. No. Woo. <laughs> no. Well, we, we did that we did that thorough review of the last section in the last class, and I just looked back at that a couple times and good. I think I'm okay, I'm I'm okay with knowing what I need to do in it anyways. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. Great. So um on that note, why don't you two guys um, stand up and do the opening work and let me see how that's coming.
So um, I do definitely see improvement in being aware of the movement of the elbows in both of you. Um, a couple of things, Jeff, I would say. One is to keep thinking about dropping your elbows. You have a tendency to lift them higher than they need to be. Right. Um, and you tend to make the pulsing circles bigger than they need to be. Um, pulsing Actually, <laughs> let, let me, um, <coughs> just to be extreme about this for a moment, and I know, I know I'm on the, the other camera, but it doesn't make a great deal of difference. So I can begin to pulse throughout my entire body with the amount of movement I'm doing now. Okay? So my point being that when <clears throat> Well, one of the ones that I, I really noticed was con water. Um, you, your movement, Jeff, got really big. And A, it's, it's not going out. It's really going this way. Which <laughs> brings me to the other point that I really wanted to, to comment about which is that we're not working with the central channel in this practice really at all. We don't get to the central channel until God's playing in the clouds, which <laughs> Bill is working on in the other class, but not here. <clears throat> so the movements are really focusing to those sidelines. Right. So... Um, for instance, here you fortunately have the ability to place your hands uh, and your elbows here, of course, are facing outwards, so they, they can't be on the sideline, but they are um, they're in, they're not out here, they're in. And the movement is this, well, I'm not going to exaggerate for a moment, but the movement is this way, right along that central channel, a uh, side channel, excuse me. And it can be very small because you don't need a big movement you simply need the movement coordinated through every joint of the body. And we haven't really particularly focused on that yet, although Bill's going to hear a little more about it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so, one of the, the, A, reducing the size of the pulsing movements makes it <coughs> really a little bit easier to do. But right. recognizing, if you think about it, when we've worked on, on just a movement like this, um, the, the hands and arms don't have to make big movements to get that energy to move all the way through. Mm. 
It doesn't take much. You can pull in and push out with a very small movement. So it doesn't, it doesn't take a lot. So I'm, I'm encouraging you to be a little more subtle yeah. with your movements, right. which makes it a little easier to find the circularity, the sphericality, if you will. Is that a word? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, of the movements. It's the same with the form. Same with the form. Absolutely. I mean, why would we bother doing this yeah. if we couldn't apply it in the form? Um, so, for you, uh, that thinking of the circularity, I think, is a really important focus because your tendency is to, to bend and extend, not to circle. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we had that in God's, too. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, but all of that comment aside, I want to say I see improvement in, in what you're both doing. So this is uh, hopefully helpful and not yeah. I'm not uh, meaning at all to be punishing about it. <laughs> so David, when you are when you're when we're doing this and you're talking about like at the, at the very beginning of what you just said. <laughs> You, you, you made almost no movement and you said I could feel some pulsing just with that small amount of movement. Are you also facilitating that pulsing by drawing your Dantian in and out? Not particularly, no. Oh, okay. I'm doing it by opening and closing all the joints in my body. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it is, is doing that, that's, that's what we're called breathing without breathing still, right? Or we used to call it breathing without breathing years ago. Well, the, uh, um, no. <laughs> well, what I'm what I'm getting at is in this exercise, is that something that we can or should do to move the energy even more, drawing the Dantian in and out as we. So uh, I. Yeah. No, not particularly, because um, right. I don't think it's appropriate for both of you anyway to, to go into reverse breathing at this point. Reverse breathing, okay, that's what I was thinking. Which is what you're talking about, I think. Yeah. yeah. Breathing, are you familiar with breathing without breathing? No. Okay. That's a concept of Master Joe's which is, is not, um, it leads to reverse breathing, but the basic part of that concept is that at least initially, it is beneficial not to try to align the breath with the movement. Now we're kind of beyond that mm -hmm. as far as this practice is concerned. However, in the form, we are still at a, at a level of not trying to align the breath with the, with the movement. Reverse breathing is what Jeff was referring to in um, on the inhale, the, the abdomen contracts and on the exhale it expands. The reverse of, of normal longevity breathing. And that is a, a very useful, uh, more advanced form of breathing and we will reach that. We do go into that in God's eventually. Did I answer your question, Jeff? Yeah, well, I think that the basic answer is no, that that's not something that we should be aspiring to do in this exercise. <clears throat> and not at this point. Right. Okay, so any other questions in there? Do you understand what I'm yeah. talking about? Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. So, um,
I guess I guess I'd like you to just go into a flow. Okay. Um, and let me just see see how that's doing. a few refinements, but it was, some of it was very good.
Yeah. Okay. So, <clears throat> a couple of things to um, I done to myself here. Oh, oh, you're back. I'm back. I see you now. Yep. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> I don't see myself. I don't know what I've done here. Huh. Are you familiar with no? no. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> yeah, you're you're at the same view you were at before. So I'm not, I'm not sure why you don't see it. What? This one? It says show itself view. Ah. Yep. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got too much stuff here. <clears throat> um, just some places to be careful as you're going. Uh, through. Um, Guinea's pretty good. I have to say both of you uh, are doing very well with the with the pull down and pretty much with the embrace. Um, when you go into shoulder, um, you, you do want to try to find that little bit of drawing in before you step out and then rotate and expand into shoulder. And the, um, the real trick here, and then this kind of a note for you, is not to go too far forward. Okay. The ideal is that you don't go, at this point, you have not gone all the way to your bow stance, which would be here. It's small, but it, there's a little more left because you use that to get to here. Mm. So it's, it's a subtle piece of that. Um, your tendency is to go too far forward on shoulder. Um, um, Jeff, yep. going into uh, cloud hands, yep. um, and, well, both of you seem to me had a little bit of difficulty with this. You're stepping back and around, and that starts the arms moving. And they continue to rotate and separate as you come around, as you turn that right foot. And then it's as if they, they pass each other in front of you. I mean, they've only come <laughs> to the center of your body. Okay. But what they're going to do, do at that point is go up and out so they're they're separating like this right keep thinking about relaxing your shoulders jeff okay <laughs> um, wave hands this is, a, this is a very tricky wave hands. 
Yeah. This is not uh, uh, the young styles actually can get a little complex too, but it's it's not as it's not as bad as this one because the the rotation here and the bend and extend and lengthening all have to be continuous. Right. They don't ever stop. And that's a that's kind of tough. Yeah. That that took me some practice to find how to do that. Um, because it's it's very easy um, to to turn too much, and then it's just kind of bigger, smaller, and then you start rotating again. Right. But you really have to work on maintaining that continuous circular movement through that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Uh, to, for me, that's the trickiest part of our of what we've learned of this form so far, is is wave wave hands is for me it's easily the trickiest part because there's so much timing and and speed of movement of several different things that you have to coordinate all at once. Yep. So that's right. <laughs> um, you're both making headway through those kick sections. I'm, I'm impressed. <laughs> That's good. Um, when we get over to uh, the single whip here, <clears throat> make sure that you keep the circularity here um, in all of this. Mm -hmm. So this is going boom. I mean, the there is that big sweep through there. Now it can be pretty subtle, but you can make it bigger to begin with. Um, and you want to make sure that you, when you get to this point that you're on the right foot so that you can step forward and follow step and push down and then chop down, which is, I think, um, we, uh, my follow step is too far forward. Yeah, Your follow step was here. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it, you have to keep the toe behind the, the line of the heel, yeah. the front heel. And it makes it just difficult to step around. Yeah. Well, it does uh, from from here now. It, yeah. Now it's it is more difficult. <laughs> no question. Um, boom, 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 boom. Um, actually, <clears throat> definite improvement here. There was improvement in uh, stepping back and sinking, and and also in shifting back and making this a more of an empty step. <laughs> good, David. Going into those. So that was good. Um, again, uh, when we go from stroke the beard and you're going into to um, shoot the tiger. Don't go too high, Jeff. Your tendency is to, to get a little too high with that. Right. Yeah. Um, really, part of that is feeling the, the elbows and the shoulders relaxing so that there's no lift right. there. I don't know. Questions you have? No, I mean, I know where I, I mean, my empty step there, it, it, you know, brush the beard was bad, and yeah, uh, there were a few other 
uh, yeah. empty steps that I gave, including that. I don't know what that's about, but it really, I felt inconsistencies. So. <coughs> it's all just a <laughs> practice and one step at a time. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I think I was aware of where it was coming loose. So. Oh, good. I, you know, I uh, also, um, Master Joe's fourth principle, make a little progress each day. <laughs> you know, I'm not expecting perfection here. Um, it doesn't exist. So, but yeah, we want to try to make a little bit of progress. All right, wait a second here, David. I'm missing something. What? You said, that, you said that's his fourth principle? Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought there was three. I thought there was do your best, don't overdo it, make a little progress every day. What, what am I missing? <laughs> um, let's see. Do your best. Don't overdo no. it. No, the first principle is the most difficult one. <laughs> um, well, there, it's, it could be stated several ways, but um, achieve self awareness. Oh, okay. Um, so that's a long path. <laughs> that's every day of your life. You got it. Yeah. Um, so, do you have any questions, Jeff? Uh, up to there? No, no, I'm I'm okay at this point. Okay. So the next one is kind of fun. Huh? <laughs> well, finally we get some fun. <laughs> <laughs> this one's called Double Cannon Punch. Oh. So, let me just demonstrate it. Oh, do I have the right camera on here? No, I don't. I, I can't see your feet at this yeah, angle. Sorry. Uh oh, get back. So now you're going to rotate right, sitting back to 60%, and that opens the hands, and bends in. <laughs> so you're here, extended, here this is bending and releasing. And then as you go forward onto the right foot, the arms are going to sweep down and begin to form the fists. So that as you step the left foot to the side in a bow stance, the fists are swept up. They're going to sweep the back of the hand over the kidneys. And then as you shift forward, the hands come out into double cannon punch. Oh. Nothing to it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, let me, uh, let me turn this so that I do it towards the camera for you, Jeff, but also another angle for you, too. <clears throat> so we've done boom, back, shoot the tiger, rotate right, release, bend, forward, form the fists, Step, double cannon punch. And you end up in a, a, a 
Wu style bows dance, which tends to be a little narrower than Yang, but it is a bow dance. <laughs> so I'll do that one more time. When you do that double cannon punch, are your arms, I, I didn't see any, but I'm assuming that there's some rotation as well as, um, you know, extending? Well, there is, um, uh, as, as you stroke your kidneys and you come to the side, There's a slight rotation because you're dropping the elbows into your sidelines. Okay, can you do that again at this angle facing me like this so I can see head on what your hands are doing? Sure. Okay. So, uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Hmm. okay. I'm going to do it again. I didn't like, I didn't like what I did. Okay. Um, so if you're here, yeah. here, here, <laughs> I'm not doing this right. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Just turning it around is okay. Did you see what you needed there? Yeah, yeah. There, there's there's less rotation than I thought there was in in the actual punch. I thought it was more like a. I'm I'm over I'm overdoing it now, but I thought it was more like this, and it's not. It's really more like this. It's, it's just here. Yeah. Okay. That, that's what I needed to see. <laughs> I, I think you know what it was. I think I was I was leaning more with my hands and expecting my hands too much, instead of just with the scapula. Yep. All right, I got it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I figured that out. All right, thanks. So let's, uh, do you want to try it together? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I think, go back to um, having done the, the stroke the long beard. And then you're going to go back, shift forward, shoot the tiger. Shift back and rotate right. Just pause there. So now you're back weighted, not forward weighted. Oh. Yeah. So go back to shoot the tiger. So you're shifting back and turning to the direction of your right foot. Okay. And then as you go forward, hands are going down and you're going to a hundred percent on that right foot and as by that time you need to have the hands down beside your body and then as you step that foot comes in and goes out that the hands come up placing the back of the hands over the kidneys and then you're, at this point, you're facing in the direction of the left foot and you're in a left bow stance. And then as you shift forward to 60% on the left, the hands come out into the punch. 
So when your hands go and they and they're on your kidneys, you have not yet formed a fist, right? They're sort of half formed. Okay, you're on the way to forming it. They're on the. They're on the way. Okay. They are on the way. All right. So they release. You have no fist. They are starting to form as you go forward. And now you have fists. They come out and strike. And that completes just as you come to your bow stance. Left knee over the left ankle. So at, when, you, when you are shifting and your weight is 100% on your right foot, uh, before you step with your left, so, okay. Um, before your hands go up. Well, that's not there. All right, can you can you do it again from the start? I'm going to turn the other direction. Okay. Maybe you'll, you'll see it better. I'm not sure. Uh, so, you shot the bow. Yep. You're rotating and shifting back. Yep. Shift forward to a hundred percent connect. Okay. Step. No, I'm, I did that wrong. That, this is that's the section where I'm ha I'm having trouble with the yeah, timing. No, no. You're you're having trouble because I didn't say it right. Okay. <laughs> so release. As you go to a hundred percent. The yes. arms are sweeping down. Okay. As you step, you connect to the kidneys. Okay. That's what I thought you had said the first time, and that, that's but I wasn't clear on it. Yep. Uh -oh. so that's that's it. And this so, so I'm at an empty step here. Right. You you need to really make that empty because you need all of this right. to to this out. And it is coming from the Dantian and the spine. <laughs> right. Boom. Yeah. Okay. The elbows are just just past the body. Yeah. Okay. The elbows are just far enough to, to be on the sideline. Okay. That's well, where they are. So that the the energy yeah is coming out. <laughs> um, other questions? Okay, let's do it again. Sweep back, pick up, shoot, rotate back. Shift forward, step, shift. How far, when you do the double punch, how far out from your body are your fists going? That's what Bill just asked. Oh, <laughs> okay. So where you are is <clears throat> not that far. You're, you're just to the point where the elbows can be on the sidelines. Oh, okay. Okay. So <clears throat> remember that you don't need a lot of space in the armpit, but you need a little bit of space. Right. So the, the part of that uh, final movement, <laughs> David, <laughs> is is using using the body to power those fists out. Okay. No. So 
didn't shift on shoot the bow. <laughs> so if you're here, mm -hmm. you're picking up the bow here, you shoot here. And, okay. And then you go back. Yeah. come up here, the right hand comes right to the center, and the left is, is separated some, but mm. there's, you know, it, so that it's not already out here, right. so that they both have some separation. when this happens. When the step happens? Step, yeah. After you get to 100% on the right. <laughs> so, boom. Back, 100%, step. step. While the hands are going. While the hands are going from here to here. So you're using that that step to place the fist, so they can then draw out the bow. Yeah. Shift the weight forward. But really. Never did that. <laughs> ah, how I missed that. Good. It makes sense, you know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I just didn't do it. Yeah. Good. So just make sure that that step forward is empty. empty. So you have all the shift, and, and I would practice slowing that down, mm -hmm. because if you go really slowly, then you discover, oh, I do have time to do that. Yeah. <laughs> We're probably going too far with it. Whatever's appropriate for yeah. you. Yeah. So let me, let me watch uh, Jeff <coughs> pretty good, Jeff, uh, except uh, go back to, um, yeah. Pause right there. Look at your elbows. Right. In, in. <laughs> like that? Yeah, they have to. You're you're bending at that point. The elbows are coming in, pushing the the scapula towards the spine. Uh, I was I was too far out still. <clears throat> yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. It 
looks better. <coughs> um, can you turn, <coughs> excuse me, so that your shoot the bow is facing the camera? Yes. Uh huh. Okay, that's not bad. All right. I just wanted to check something. Were you thinking I was crossing center? <clears throat> well, I did think you were, but. Yeah, I, I have from time to time. I'm trying to be aware of that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> probably, probably did see it more than once. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you have a question in there? No. Nope. That elbow, that elbow part feels better. Good. Relax, dropping them down a little more like that. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, That's good. So let's do a flow. Okay. And add that on. All right. And this time I'll do it with you. Oh, good. <laughs> Dismiss myself somewhere. <laughs> uh. Yin Taiji. So spiral down into the right, step empty to the left corner, punk, G, you, on, turning right, stepping with the right, punk, G, you, on. Step, bend in, extend out, reset bending, single whip, shift, touch, step, and pull down, release, embrace. Shift on to the left, rotate in, step to the corner, shoulder not too far forward, white goose spreads its wings, follow, focus, step around, rotate, Rise to down and under. Rotate right, sinking and stepping, and wave hands like clouds. Take that ball. Keep it right in front of you all the time. And another single whip. Bend in. Extend. Out, reset, single whip, lift hand, touch, step, and sit back and turn, rising to high pat, then rotate, stepping, subdue tiger, shift forward and Kick, strike, step, and 
and subdue tiger right, shift, kick strike, step back, turn on the right heel, kick with the left, step, rotate to single whip, step forward, turning left, push down, coming up, step forward, follow, push down and chop, rising, step around, hide the fist, Turn to the other side and step and chop. Sit back and turn. Stepping through. Pung. Jeep. Back. Turn. Shift forward. Extend the right. Sweep and step back and sink. Offering incense. Shift back, step and gargoyles, step and gargoyles, shift forward, sweep the lotus, stroke the long beard, pick up your bow and shoot the tiger. Rotate, shifting back, shift forward, forming the fists, touch the kidneys, double cannon punch. And just follow me. Shift onto your left, release the fists, reset the right straight to the front, rotate back sitting onto it, releasing the left, and open, and then sink, turning forward and stepping in, rise, lifting the arms, and release in to close. I think wow. we're almost at the end. Yeah. Wow, okay. So, questions? Nope. You know what you... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Um, I'm going to need a refresher on payment for post. <laughs> yeah, so do I. <laughs> I've got okay. it all written down. I, I've, it's all confused in my head now. So. I've got it all written down, but I okay. don't have it down here. I'll, I'll, <sighs> but I can send it to you. Okay. And I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. So you might think about coming on Wednesdays. So yeah. Um, maybe not. Whenever. Yeah. Um. Because I'd I'd really be very glad to do a bit of okay. Yeah, it won't be terribly regular, but yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Okay. Good. Thanks. All right. Thank you. How are things in Florida? Okay. <laughs> <laughs>